Fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the videos. If you guys are new, my name is Mike. So if you guys watched the last video, which I highly recommend you do, I picked up these window vents from a friend at a car meet, and which is the first time I've ever bought a car part at a car meet. What I'm gonna do to them now is modify them to make them work a little bit better to how I want it, and also modify them to make them look a lot better, just so it's not some like, just so it's not this plastic looking, I don't even, even know what to call it. But in my opinion, I can make this look a lot better. I've already started taking it apart just to show you what it's held on with it's like this aluminum screw thing i'm using just a screwdriver just to pull the whole thing off and what i'm gonna do is basically flip the outside with the inside to basic make it inside out because the inside same kind of plastic but just smooth and then i'm gonna go ahead and paint it prime it and add this plastic adhesion promoter which i used on my lip which seems to be holding up okay but i'm probably gonna have to redo my lip sometime in the future all right, so now that we have all of these off, this literally is just three pieces. So just like I said, we have the first piece. This is how it looks on the back. It has this rough looking texture to it. I wanna basically use this, a semi-gloss or flat look, but this plastic scratch is really, really easy. I don't know if this, you can kind of see it there. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them down with this old rag that I had and should go on to spraying it. I'm not going for a super, super professional looking paint job, but I know I can make this come out pretty darn good. So let's get on to spraying. All right, so now that I have the first one all wiped down, I did read the back and it doesn't say anything about primer. So I don't know if this acts like a primer because I really want this to stick and I don't want it to like flake off while I'm driving because that would really suck and it would look really, really bad. Okay, so now that it has more or less dried, I'm gonna go ahead and put the primer and then the black. I went ahead and sprayed the second one with the plastic promoter and we're gonna go ahead and double check this one. It has been sitting for a couple seconds. It may not be dry enough to touch, but I'm gonna go... Yeah, we good. Okay, so basically that's how it looks like. To me, it looks a lot cleaner with an even coat of black. I feel like when you paint a lot of things black or black again, it kind of restores the way it looks. And to me, it looks almost brand new and looks like it was made in like a factory. All right, guys, so more or less, this is the final product. I think it looks pretty freaking good. I'm gonna put it in the sun just so you guys can see a little bit better. But it looks a lot cleaner. So this, the one with the screw heads, are the inside and the one on the outside is gonna look like rivet so like these but if you look really close they do have threads in them just so you can take it out and uh, stuff like that and if you guys are wondering what the purpose of these things are to my knowledge it is to keep the interior of your car cool especially if you have a black car you can basically keep your windows rolled down on the highway or whatever not get a lot of wind noise and still have the air vent from the inside out i'm planning on keeping these on like the whole time and my car does get hot i do have mesh that i bought i'm pretty sure it's fiberglass mesh that i'm gonna put in between these holes just so no bugs or dust or anything really big like that comes inside the car yet we still have hot air coming out and i think it's gonna add more of a race car look when it has the mesh unfortunately the mesh is in my dad's car and he's not here so we're gonna put that in later all right so we just got the mesh i had to go all the way to where my dad is currently working and grab it from his van this one's made out of fiberglass and this is actually like for your screen doors if any of you guys still have one of those they did say that the the fiberglass one is a little bit stronger not that it really matters for something like this we're gonna open this up cut it out to shape just so uh, nothing gets into the car while these things are on so i just fit it on the mesh and i just used the pointy part of the scissors just to uh, line it up and poke holes i did poke these three first just to hold it in place and i went ahead and stretched it as much as i could and then I'm gonna go ahead and sandwich it on top of the other one and then flatten it out And I'll show you guys the finished product in just a bit. So this is how they look on the car. I think it looks pretty good Mesh is a little soft, but hey, it's not bad for a DIY job. I don't think it looks too bad
So today is a new day. We're gonna be installing the canards on Ariana now. If you guys don't remember this, I just got these in the mail. So they kinda go on like this. I believe they are Varys style canards. I think they go on something like that. Personally, I'm not 100% confident I'm drilling holes into my own bumper because I feel like I'm just gonna screw up. There are gonna be like a bunch of holes here. My dad's gonna be helping me out. So just in case you guys wanted like a closer look at these canards. They seem to be like decent quality. They are really light. Here's a closer look at the carbon weave itself. It looks really good, really high quality. Fitment is alright. It's not 100% but I mean they are aftermarket pieces. Not all aftermarket pieces fit 100% anyways. Besides if they don't fit it's not a huge deal but I'm pretty sure we can make these bad boys fit. Doesn't look too bad. I think it would look cooler with the screws in or like the bolts in, but it doesn't look too bad. I kind of like it. We're still missing one, but it's gonna go right there. Dad, my idea, okay, when you peel this, peel this, but fold it up. So when you, so when you mock it on, you can just, oh. okay. I don't think it looks too bad. So this is before. No canards. I don't think it's going back now, but there's canards. All right guys, so we just got the first side done and personally, I think it looks pretty good. The other side still isn't done yet. It still has the plain looking Evo uh, side bumper thing. Anyways, this side's all done. I think it looks pretty good personally. It's kind of hard to get like a good angle because of all the stuff that's here right now. But this is how it looks like. We just drilled the holes and um, basically used uh, these stainless steel screws just to put them on. I think it looks pretty good. I like it. This thing's on there really good. The 3M tape and the screws really stuck it on. So we're just going to go ahead and work on this side. Right, so this is a car that's all done. I'm not gonna, probably not gonna film a lot right now because it's really raining right now. Looks pretty good. I'll probably show you guys another clip once it's uh, we have better weather over here. All right, so as promised in the last clip, I'm gonna show you guys how the whole car looks like with the canards and the window vents. I think it looks really good. So here's like a shot of the front end with the canards. It makes it look a lot more aggressive, more race car. And um, I've been driving for about a week now and the window fence seems to be holding up pretty good. Like, I drove this like 30 minutes on the highway or something and there is some wind noise. It's not like it's completely quiet, but it does definitely help out the car interior cool off. But I think it does definitely make it look more race car. And it also has a function to it. That concludes this video. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and join the Annie Perfect Society. Peace out and make it happen.